So we knew that this deal was probably dead in the water. What is the plan going forward to be able to spin out some of that value? Well, remember, Heidi, this was the, one of the key pillars of Credit Suisse's revamp strategy. So it, it does come, although, as you say, it has been muted even before, kind of a week ago, we thought this may be under pressure, this might not be happening. But now we're, we're pretty clear that it won't be happening. It, it will come as a surprise to, to some people that follow it closely. What it does do, though, is it allows UBS to essentially pick the bankers in the global franchise from Credit Suisse that they really, really want to add to their teams. So, for example, in areas like advisory uh, in the US and um, those prominent industries like tech where they're looking to bolster some of the ranks it allows them to bring in those bankers just selectively um, and not have to bring in wholesale staff that they would then need to trim or cut uh, further down the line. So it does give them a huge amount of flexibility. So that looks like what's going to happen. The, the the UBS management are obviously still part of, uh, still planning this, seeing how it's going to happen. They haven't had long to, to kind of go through this and work out how it's going gonna, it's gonna to work. But essentially that's what we know is that they're going to go in, they're going to pick select top tier bankers and, and mid-level bankers and bring them on board with their UBS teams. And we're hearing that Credit Suisse bonuses could get deferred. Who benefits from this? Well, of course, there'll be many people at, at Credit Suisse that will be um, very disappointed to know that they won't be able to get access to those uh, longer-term kind of deferred payments, which is, a, which is a typical strategy that a lot of banks have, right, to lock in people over a longer period. You don't get access to your compensation performance until a little bit further down the line. So I think to your question of who benefits, well, it, it allows the people that are buying this bank to understand a bit more about um, the kinds of people People they want to keep there, uh, what they want to do when they uh, shuffle people around and, and make redundancies in some areas of the bank. But certainly for, for a lot of staff uh, at Credit Suisse that are kind of already sitting on um, an equity price that's down quite significantly from probably when these uh, were actually awarded to them uh, last year, um, it's, uh, it's clearly a sign of, um, of a tough future for, for them in terms of understanding what their compensation is going to be further down the line.